He's the guy moving fastest three in from the screen there, number 11. Knocks the ball backwards. I don't think there's any doubt about that. It was clear, wasn't it, in the first viewing. Hits his hands. And as he falls and his feet hit the deck, pushing the ball backwards. backwards yep. Clearly, quite clearly. Well, that's the first thing I think we've ruled out here. Have we ever had a more dramatic video referee decision than this well for about the last 16 years it's huge that St Helens doing it in reverse isn't it to win a game of the death indeed Perolini for St Helens at London Broncos first year okay then Demia Blanche she's twisting and turning well this seems to be the first thing that seems quite clear I don't think anybody will argue with the fact that that's pushed back to Demia Blanche he then tries to go for the corner he sees the space but the effort from the Saints defenders lands a high as the first to him now, does it hit the ground? No, it clearly releases that before he's tackled. Sebastian Ragan then, I think the next thing is, does he clearly pick it up? That's play on. That's play on. No knock on here. There's sometimes criticism of the video referees because it takes so long. Now, this is taking nearly two minutes. He can take all the time he wants here, Steve does, Ganson. Doesn't hit his arm, does it? No. Next thing then. He seems to kick the ball forward. It's a shot to the corner flag. That's off the leg. That's off the heel. So it's play on. Miss kick. Onside player picks up. Off. That's the, off the ground. That's Price. It's tossed back in field. Bateri runs across field, a clean pass, they can't talk about that being forward, and Bosk offloads before that tackle's completed, Henderson tips on, so does Durow, and then we've got Centimata Sar drafting across field, trailing it on the outside, now throws then. the pass to Daryl Millard, step back inside, and grounds the ball. They have got a draw at least, if this goes try, in the screen, the Saints fans can't believe it. I don't know what they're booing about. Everything has been looked at, top to bottom. Steve Ganson will say, try to the Catalan Dragons. They had a draw at least 36 apiece last Sunday. 32-32 here now. Duro with the kick to come to win the match off the touchline. Outstanding comeback, second half. You said when Blanche went in, remember Halifax last year when they took on and beat Huddersfield. You just got the feeling there was an air inside this stadium where everybody seemed to go to sleep, and that just gave the Dragons a chance. Scott De Rose had plenty of time now to rest and recover. I think that's one of the things that goalkeepers would say. Uh, the success rate is far higher when the heart rate has reduced itself and got back to a more normal rate. Well, it's beating through the chest and they've been running up and down the field. Here is fully rested. Can he win the game? Well, he's had, as you say, he's had plenty of time to prepare himself for this. This kick to win the match for the Catalan Dragons. He has kicked it to Scott DeRoe. It's a famous win for the Catalan Dragons at the home of St. Helens. And the Saints fans cannot believe what they have seen. At 44 minutes, St. Helens were 26-8 up. At 80 minutes, St. Helens are 34-32 down. There's the man of the match, Ian Henderson. We've dragged him away from these celebrations. 